Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. The first thing we're going to get into is this whole situation involving Les do makeup because recently Laura Mayado got married and Les of course was one of her bridesmaids and as Laura is trying on one of her second dresses, Les was on her phone supposedly giving Laura the side eye as they were having this moment because everyone else was hyping up Laura. Therefore everyone is saying Les allegedly was giving hater vibes and she was being called out for it. Why did Les looked annoyed? She was called out before for sending things to others. These are wedding dresses someone found on Les Do Make a Pinterest she had pinned. Les did comment under this video and here was her response. She said, the comments in here are giving delusional, lol. I have kids, man. Y'all don't know what and who I'm texting or the urgency of it. Ya cayense. I definitely understand Les because we have to remember she is a mother of two now and they did attend Laura's wedding since Les' whole family was invited and they were attending as well. So she was most likely anxious or nervous in the moment. Something must have happened having them there with her and after seeing Les for quite some time now I can see that that's just her face she has a very serious look moving on we're going to be talking about Laura Mayado now because the day of her wedding she received so much backlash because her wedding took place at a home and people were not happy about it they expected Laura to go above and beyond and had higher expectations because she is an influencer, she had been hyping it up for months now and many were comparing it to other influencers' weddings. Besides the location, many criticized her dress, her hair, makeup, the list goes on. And it honestly was really sad to see, especially on someone's big special day. I genuinely felt so bad for her, she didn't deserve any of that. She had a lot to say in regards to it. Here was her response on Instagram Live. I know the internet is going to come with opinions, but I didn't know I would, like, get hate for it. Like, it just turned into something that it should have not. And it's, like, it's so sad because thank God I have my friends and family, guys. Thank God I have them because without them, oh, I don't want to cry. Imagine, like, if I wasn't strong and I did something to myself because all the hate that I was getting on my wedding day, like, that would have been so bad. Like, imagine how bad those people would have felt that created that those problems. Not just that, but I thought it was so disrespectful towards Elegancia. Dude, yes, that's what hurt me the most because I was like, I don't want him to think that it wasn't like, it was literally the wedding of my dreams. Like, that's exactly what we were planning the whole entire time. But also, guys, a lot of people were criticizing it before we even walked in to the thing. Like, all, all they saw was, um, I think, why we were at cocktail hour. That's literally all they, all they saw because there was cocktail hour with mariachi, and that's what they posted. Unfortunately, like, I'm, I'm like, whatever, they're gonna hurt me, but I didn't want people to, like, I didn't want it to get to Elegancia, but Elegancia already knows, he's like, dude, that doesn't bug me. I get having opinions, but, like, come on, keep them to yourself. So rude, man. And usually I'm the one to, like, just stay quiet now, guys, but fuck that, not no more. I feel like I deserve <laughs> to speak up at some point. Imagine, like, if I wasn't strong enough, guys, and I like, did something to myself, like, I, like, hurt myself because i was getting so much like shit like imagine how they would feel or do you think it do you think that's what they want <laughs> like did it did that is that what they want do they want me to like hurt myself and like do something i think also tiktok needs to do something about it because like if something were to happen to me like let's say i was so depressed so down bound which i was guys like the not the day after because i got drunk the day after not the day of, because they took, um, they told me to get off my phone and stuff. And I still had it. And I told myself, I was like, do not go on the phone. Because people are even being evil enough to send it through my DMs. Because I'm always in my DMs replying to you guys. So I'm always looking through them. And 
so but that, that day I was like, no, Laura, you cannot, you're going to enjoy your day. And I enjoyed it to the fullest. Whew, sorry, talking about this makes me just emotional. I enjoyed my day. And then the day after I got drunk and then the day to that, was it, what was it? I don't think it was a day. I think it was on Tuesday where I really broke down. And even my mom and dad had to come over because um, it was just bad. I got like, it was, I was, yeah, I was going through it. And that's why I started looking up. I was like, what can I do about this? Because it's not okay. It's really not okay. It's really not okay. Like if I wasn't strong enough, imagine I hurt myself or did something to myself. Like how would they feel? Is that what they want? Like, and I honestly didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want to give them the happiness because that's probably what they wanted but it wasn't even that anymore I think it just got to a point where it's like it's not okay it's really not okay and it's not a joke it's people's lives and stuff but it's time to do something about it guys like I told like I told you guys there's ways to like find who those fake pitches are there's ways to if you guys have people that are like bullying you on on social media or like through dms there's ways that you guys can find police reports and if you guys are going down through it bad like there's ways to find out what is going on and why they're doing that and you know this is going to come to an end because absolutely not <laughs> there were so many friends and family that were texting me and i feel like that was even more kind of embarrassing for me because everyone saw it everyone saw it I do want to send Laura lots of love having to deal with this. We have to remember this was her wedding. She will be the one to look back at those memories, regardless where it was or how she looked. And you can tell the wedding was very intimate and she only invited her close friends and family. It wasn't just for show or content. Let me know what you guys think about both of these situations down below. And if you guys made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for the love and support as always. I hope to see you in my next video.